Hey Husky fans, welcome back to another edition of the Weekend Warm Up presented by SESUtickets.com. I'm Alex Cotter, here to fill you in on the latest in Husky athletics. Women's basketball hit the court against Missouri Southern for the regional round of the NCAA tournament. In game one, the Husky grinded out a nail-biting 69-67 overtime win over Missouri Southern. Junior guard Brenna Evans hit the game-winning free throw in the final seconds, moved St. Cloud on to the second round of the tournament. Saturday would see the Huskies take on top-seeded Fort Hayes State. Unfortunately, St. Cloud season would come to an end with a tight 55-59 loss. The team capped their season with a 24-5 record and an NSIC regular season championship. Taking things to the ice, last weekend the men's hockey team faced off against Minnesota Duluth in the NCHC quarterfinals. The team's tenure in the conference tournament came to an abrupt end with a 2-5 loss on Friday and a 3-4 loss on Saturday. The team will now wait for a potential NCAA tournament berth. You can catch the NCAA Men's Hockey Selection Show on Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time on ESPNU. Women's tennis returns from last week's 1-3 road trip in Florida. They will be back in action this weekend as they travel down to Winona looking to rack up some conference wins. Saturday, they will take on Winona State at 6.30 and then match up against Upper Iowa on Sunday at 1. Check into SCSUHuskies.com for news and results from this weekend. The softball team also wrapped up their own Florida road trip as well. The Huskies went 2-7 during the spring games. Now they keep out of the cold and head over to St. Joseph, Missouri for a four-game set in the Hy-Vee Classic. They will look to bounce back a bit versus teams like Northwest Missouri State, Central Missouri, Nebraska Kearney, and Missouri Southern. Staying on the mound, the men's baseball team looks to have gotten back on track as they racked up a 5-1 record during the Russ Matt Central Florida Invitational. Now they will travel to Augustana to open up conference play in a three-game series March 19th and 20th. You can watch those games on the NSIC Network. Hitting the mats, the wrestling team finished up their 2022 season in a familiar place at the NCAA Championships. The back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back national champions posted 67 team points to take home fourth. Along with that, Cameron teacher Garrett Voss, Joey Bianchini, Noah Ryan, and Anthony Herrera earned All-American status for their performances in the NCAA Tournament. The swim and dive team finished their season this past weekend at the NCAA Division II Championships in Greensboro, North Carolina. The highlight of the weekend was graduate student Madison Brinkman, who captured the three-meter dive national championship. She would also grab a podium spot with a fourth-place finish in the one-meter dive. Raph Hendricks would also find his way to the podium as well with a fifth-place finish in the 200-yard backstroke in the final day of competition. And that wraps up another edition of the Weekend Warm-Up presented by SESUtickets.com. Once again, congratulations to all of our team's postseason accomplishments, and we'll see you again next week.